Kalen de Guzman, the transfer from Kentucky. De Guzman, another very, very decorated athlete all through her gymnastics career and um, coming off of being a club athlete. She was a great competitor um, and brings a lot of experience as well here to the Tigers. Has a career high, 9.925. Now set to go. Starting off here with a straddle Jaeger directly back down to the low bar at the shoot over. And just the dismount left here for De Guzman. Double layout, small step on the landing, but a really solid way for the Tigers to get back on track. So we saw the coach right there with her. What is a coach permitted to do right now? Yeah, so um, the coach, whenever they're standing there, they're not allowed to actually touch the athlete. Um, that's actually a deduction. But the coach is allowed to give some visual cues to the athlete um, and guide them if they need it over on bars. So they can't. Just a junior all the way from Los Angeles. Jackson, another one of those athletes that Smith had said was really a lead by example athlete. So maybe one of those athletes that just goes in every single weekend, does her gymnastics like she does in practice, and has really just been a rock here for this Clemson Tiger team. 9875 is her high for the season. Nine seven seven five for Wells. Starting off with another really aggressive handstand into a huge straddle Jaeger back down to the low bar, the shoot over. And so far, it's been great to see every athlete over on bars really hold those handstands. And a full out dismount, bit of a step forward, so she's just the slightest bit under rotated, so has to take that step. But regardless, it's a really aggressive bar routine. And puts an exclamation when you hold those handstands over on bars. So you can take another look here at that dismount, that full out. So two flips, one twist, and you can see she had her